Hey everybody, so today I'm going to show you my strength routine that I do, uh, specifically targeting the lower trunk, which is going to be, you know, basically the quads, the hamstrings, the glutes, the hips, uh, the calves, all the way down to the ankles, and I do some ankle stability stuff too. Had to modify it a little bit because of my ankle, still not where I can fully do everything 100% yet. But anyway, let's get to it. All right, first off, I start off with clamshells. So I use a resistance band, that goes around the knees. Only downside is that to this with guys is with our leg here, the bands kind of tear that up a little bit. It kind of hurts, so just be ready for that. <laughs> so lay down like this, legs at an angle like I have them here. I'm gonna tighten your core, and then just, I do sets of 10. So keep that core tight. This is great for like right in here on the uh, on the glute. I right, do sets of ten, three times on each on each side. After I do the clamshells, still alternating each side, I put the resistance band down around the ankle. Ow, I just slapped my tendon. That is still sore. Oh. <laughs> Let's see if I can do these with that tendon. This, this tendon is still sore from when I rolled my ankle, so we'll see if I can do these. But put the resistance band around the ankle. Keep your knees together this time. Keep tight in your core. And you lift the ankle up and hold it. Ten on each side. As you can see, I like to do the movement. I like to do it fast. I think it works the fast twitch fibers a little bit better, which is what I'm after as a trail runner. All right, now I'm gonna switch it up. I put the band back around the knees. I go into a like a tabletop position. And then from here, I do fire hydrants and then donkey kicks. So now I'm gonna do the fire hydrants. I'll do 10 reps three times on each leg. And again, you wanna maintain a tight core while you do this. set of fire hydrants, I then do a set of donkey kicks. All right, now back to fire hydrant. All right, so continuing on with the uh, trunk. Right now, this is gonna help the lower back, the glutes, 
all that. So I use a resistance band. This is a very tough, stiff resistance band, a lot of resistance to it. Put it around height, if you want it waist high. Step inside of it. Essentially, I'm gonna do a Roman deadlift with a resistance band for when I thrust forward with my glutes, that it helps uh, increase some extra, extra strength in there. So put some strength into the resistance band, kind of step into it. I've got a weighted sandbag right here that says 50 pounds in it. So that's all I have right now, so that's all I use. And when you come up, you just wanna tighten those glutes, kind of thrust forward a little bit. Sometimes I do up to 15. All right. So in between sets of the Roman deadlifts, I do weighted squats with the same bag. I'll try these, my ankle. <laughs> we'll see how, I haven't done weighted squats yet, just in body weight. So we'll see how this goes. But typically I just do 10, uh, 10 squats. I'll do it three different times, alternating between the Roman deadlift. Get these same bags more evenly centered. And again, when you come up, you tighten those glutes. That didn't feel great on the ankle, so I probably won't do weighted squats the next set. All right, now for some ankle stability specific stuff. I use a two inch foam balance pad. And then I also use another resistance band. This one goes around the ankle. You wanna put it kind of right around the ball. Again, this is my hurt ankle, so we're gonna see how this feels. First time I've done this since the No Business 100, when I rolled the ankle. And then the idea is to put some tension on that band Stand on the balance pad and you want to just balance. As the band wants to pull you that way. So you have to use your stabilizing muscles, balance. And if you can, you want to kind of flex the arch of your foot a little bit. Right now, I'm not doing too great of a job because my ankle's still kind of healing from that roll. But I usually do this for one minute on each foot. I'll do it two to three times each, each leg. And then switch legs. Again, just stand on that balance mat. Find your balance. Tighten that core. So here I'm trying to flex the arch of my foot up a little bit while the toes and everything else is still attached to the mat, basically.
right, now I'll do it again. All right, so next I'm gonna do a piriformis exercise that I learned. Uh, it's, it's really helped me since I've started doing it. I haven't had the piriformis issues in uh, up in the hips, the glute back area where I used to have in long runs. So this one's kind of hard to do. All right, so you lay down on the ground, put your arms out, and now I'm gonna take my right leg, cross it over, put it about on the knee, and then uh, when I do the exercise, I'm gonna turn my head the other direction. But uh, essentially what you do is you wanna take your, my right knee and you wanna lift it up, but you don't want your hips to open up. So you just wanna essentially use your, your leg, not your hip, like that to open up and just hold it and then go back down. I do 10 of those. Now switch legs. This one is pretty tough. I usually just do two sets of this. And then I just finish out by doing some push-ups. I usually do a couple sets of 25, just cause. All right, so there we have it. That's my exercise routine uh, that I do at least twice a week. Uh, I'm gonna be doing some new stuff coming up, hopefully soon, with vert.run, so I'll be excited to try those routines, and I'll film that for you guys too. But uh, it's what's worked for me all last year. Uh, the year before, I learned a lot of those exercises from my physical therapist after dealing with my last ankle roll, so <laughs> uh, it worked. Uh, you know, sometimes, no matter how strong you build something up, you can still do something to damage it, and that's what I did in the race when I rolled my ankle, so oh well. All right, well, thank you guys. If you like this content, I would appreciate if you would give me a thumbs up on the video. That does help my video continue to get seen more. And also, if you would consider clicking the subscribe button and the little bell so you get notifications when I release future videos, I would really appreciate that too. Uh, I am going to continue to do more videos around ankle strength, stability, and recovery as I recover from my ankle injury. So uh, if that's interesting to you, just go ahead and do those things, please. I would appreciate it. Well, yeah, that's it. So thank you guys. I do appreciate it. If you would, uh, on this side over here, I've got a playlist of some uh, running tips and injury prevention ideas that you guys might wanna take a look at, so go check that out. Over here on this side is gonna be a video that YouTube says is best for you, so check it out. Thank you so much again, I appreciate you guys, every one of you. Thank you so much, I'll see you tomorrow.